That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal, is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. That's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. What the fuck is that girl doing there? If Marsh comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Wanna get her out? No, stand down. going inside. Maybe she lives there. Well, it's just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? 
It's the police. They're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another way out. Shit. What's he up to in there? Wait for a go on my word. They're still out there. We've got to find another way. Ready on my go. Stay here, Jaden. Out of the question. No! I'm coming. Two men at the door hold your positions. It's a go. Shit. It's too high. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. I'm not here to judge you, Ethan. I'm trying to save the life of your son. We still have time, but it's running out. Help me, Ethan. Tell me what you know. Ethan, I'm trying to help you. I just want to understand what happened. But you have to trust me. Look at these, Ethan. Look at these. Eight photographs. Eight lives taken. Drowned 
in the goddamn rain. Recognize this one, huh? That's your son, Ethan. That's Sean. He is still alive. Talk to me, Ethan. Say something! You've lost, Ethan. What will you gain with one more victim? Huh? I kidnapped my son. But I can't remember what happened. I don't know where he is. But the only way to find him is to let me out of here. I'm the only person who can save him. You say you can save him, but you don't know where he is. That doesn't make sense, Ethan. I love my son. I love my son. If you keep me here, Sean is going to die. Time's running out, Ethan. And frankly, I don't care why you did it. The only thing I want to know is where you've hidden Sean. I don't know. I would already have saved him if I knew where he was. Okay. This is your last chance, Ethan. And this time, I suggest you think carefully before you answer. Where is Sean? I told you, I don't know. Ah! Wrong answer. I asked you a question, and now you're gonna answer me, even if it takes all night. Where is the kid? Oh! Ah! What's the matter, huh? Nothing to say, huh? Can't fucking remember? I see if this refreshes your fucking memory. Oh! Oh! Huh? Is that it? You're just a fucking degenerate. Now you're gonna tell me the truth, or I'm gonna really get angry. You fuck! Are you gonna tell me what I want to know, or I'm gonna fucking cripple you?
Jake is trying to beat a confession out of Ethan Lawrence. You've got to do something. Which is more important, Norman? Finding little Sean Maz or sparing that lowlife a few bruises. You can't make omelets without breaking a few eggs. God damn! Ethan Mars is innocent! We've got to get back to looking for Sean if we're to have any chance of finding him alive! This case has worn you out, Norman. You need some time off to think it through. Your vodka, sir. Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you-know-what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but... that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park, when in the opposite direction at 1637, that could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car?
Pity we can't see the driver's face. The car was stolen. Let's see, a certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it. But the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Jackson Neville, a.k.a. Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. <laughs> 